And now, live from the studios of Freedoms Phoenix, Ernest Hancock. Something happening here But what it is ain't exactly clear There's a man with a gun over there Telling me I got to beware I think it's time we stop Children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Battle lines being drawn Nobody's right If everybody's wrong Young people speak in their minds Are getting so much resistance From behind the Time we stop Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down A field day for the heat A thousand people in the street Singing songs and they're carrying signs Mostly say hooray for our side It's time we stop, hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Your life it will creep It starts when you're always afraid Step out of line The man come and take you away We better stop Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down We better stop Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down We better stop Now, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down Going, going, uh, gone, galt. dot com. Yeah, I got that a couple years ago, a few years ago. Now I'm just getting out. Here we go. So I just went going, going, gone, galt. dot com. That will become useful when uh, I feel like it. When the time comes, I'll be using it. I am. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. Friday night, we went to see. Atlas Shrugged, and we had, uh, you know, we're busy. I mean, we're always busy. It's, you know, all we can do just to get there on time. We get there, and uh, we got there about an hour, hour and a half early, so we had time to go to dinner. We had to cut our dinner short because we found out that the line was going on around the building. <laughs> so we're like, hey, man, we don't want to be up, you know, in the front row. So we left uh, standing in line for about a half hour. So we got a good seat. As they let us in, we're talking to the people and so on, and we're in the theater waiting a little while and just talking, you know, where they heard of it. Well, it made it on to some email list that they were on, a meetup here, Freedoms Phoenix, you know, uh, somebody said something uh, earlier that day. Thomas Costanzo, Morpheus, he was, we printed up uh, these cards that were, who is John Galt? Do you have any of those cards here laying around? And we'll show you. We had... You know, who is John Galt and the Atlas Shrugger? Just uh, cheap flyers, four up on an eight and a half by 11. We printed up and we just did thousands of them and we put in. There was a tea party that Friday also at the Arizona State uh, Capitol. So we had a table there. We got a couple of tables for the guys to hawk their wares and their wallet voting and Freedom's Phoenix get whatever. And then they took care of that. So they were passing these out at ASU. Uh, Thomas did a little video, eight minutes of him going handing out cards i'm like come on it's called edit so anyway so he's you know passing these out then he goes to the tea party passing them out so it wasn't like you know these people didn't know but the tea party as they as much as they emphasize them being a part of this the tea party thing yeah not by anything that the evidence you would get from them friday at the arizona state legislature and they're talking about the Koch brothers are behind the americans for prosperity and funding this and everything so we know they're here they're the ones that do a lot of the tea party stuff here it's all politics it's all republican politics. they'll say they'll go oh no we're 
We're nonpartisan. Yeah, we're nonpartisan. No, we're nonpartisan. Really? Then why is that table over there only registering precinct committeemen for Republicans? Why is it Republican legislators that are talking here? Why is it that Republican activists? Are, why is it? I mean, the only thing that wasn't Republican there were the uh, immigration protesters against uh, Russell Pierce and, you know, a bunch of the libertarians out there uh, doing Atlas Shrug stuff. And wallet voting and silver dimes. And, you know, I'm just, you know, it, I, I'm, I'm tired of being lied to all the time. I'm not going to, you know, have you come, certainly not on the show, you know, or, or I'm at any event tonight. Tonight we had, there's an event, it's the economic discussion group, kind of a, you know, private club of the Uber, whatever people, you know, think they're important. And, uh, you know, I, yeah, I'm part of it. But I, I go to this thing. And who's speaking tonight? Jerry Williams from American Precious Metals, you see advertised on Freedom's Phoenix lot. Now, he's going to talk about, you know, silver and gold. They'd ask me how to get hold of them and so on. So he's doing that. I'm tempted to go. But what would I take? You know, Drew's coming over today to make a bunch of Freedom's Phoenix cards. Oh, yeah, we got these. Freedom's Phoenix cards, you know, the silver dime on the back. We had to change it. We did this when it was $30, back when it was $26, $28 an ounce. We put $30 with the conversion rate on this. We had to redo them, put $40. To the moon, Alice, to the moon this is going. So I'm going to Fed stock. I leave tomorrow to go to Philadelphia. I have a bunch of these and so on. Drew's coming over to make these, and we're going to be distributing them. Well, tonight, the economic discussion group, you have the guy, a silver guy where I buy most of the dimes from. You know, the, the junk silver, the 90% silver, he's going to be speaking tonight, this group. And these guys, you know, what are they going to say about Atlas Shrug? What are they going to say? Oh, they go, oh, yeah, you know, we, yeah, we should get the government to what? Screw them. I don't care about, you know what they are? They are irrelevant. They're going to come crashing down. You know, all you got to do is avoid the dinosaur. You know, it's going to die. It's coughing up blood. And I'm going, you know, all you got to do is what L. Neil Smith says, stay away from the tail. So that's what we're trying to do. Here was the flyer that we did. Just a cheap little flyer, you know, thin paper. Back it says, who is John Galt? You know, we just had these, you know, passed them out. It said where the theater was and everything. Now it's all over the valley. This is a cultural thing. Do you think that it's going to have some kind of big impact on voting or something? Well, Tea Party and these guys like to think so. An entire movie that's all about having nothing to do with the political process, having nothing to do with the economy, having nothing to do with any of the systems in place right now, have everything to do with just abandoning the whole thing, and they're going to use this as a rallying cry for us to get out there and vote? Are you stupid? Who's doing this? Who even thought of that? Fine. You know, Tea Party guys, they want to, you know, what I have no idea what's going through their head, or even they know. They just see it as a rallying cry, as a, as a something. I don't know what the heck. So here we have YouTubes on just the trailers, and you can see. And I'll tell you which one it was. It's the one that really got them going. Is they had the union representative, one of the trailers for Atlas Shrugged, came in to Dagny Taggart, the heroine in the movie that's uh, doing the railroad that wants to, you know, like make money and stuff comes in, threatens her what the union's going to do and can't do in this, and she just tells him where to go. And in a, you know, very principled manner. And it was that, that encapsulated in a two, three minutes, the entire process by which the unions and collectivization is going to be avoided or ignored or just uh, evolved out of existence. And it freaked them out exactly as it did 50 years ago and everything has been done to squash the making of this book into a movie because of the impact of books like the fountainhead we the living anthem which at least two of those were made in the movies this is this is i, I can see where this is going you know they they are they are concerned and they should be what happens when they control the referees of the game the field of the game they own, the rules, everything, the ball, and you just decide not to play the game. We're just not going to play. We're gone. Then what? I don't know. Let's find out.